Hi, back with me again. I am now, right now, I just landed in uh, Medan. And um, actually, bukan Medan sih. I landed somewhere. Terus abis ini sama timnya bakalan naik kereta. Jadi, uh, me today hari ini sama Tio. Ada Tio, halo, say hi. <laughs> Jadi abis ini katanya harus naik kereta. Kalau Ucok bilang sih naik MRT, cuman ya, ya gitu deh. So, uh, ini my pesawat tadi. Nah, pilotnya keren, landingnya oke. Okay. Nah, tetap ada pantunnya. Kalau di Citilink, yang gue paling tunggu tuh pantunnya. Pantunnya soalnya enggak banget. Dangdut abis ya, tapi enggak apa-apa lah. Uh, airportnya tuh, the airport is quite nice here, airportnya. It's like Singapore, actually. Mirip-mirip. Jadi saya pertama kali ke sini belum pernah sih ini new airport katanya so it's kind of cool so uh, jadi ntar uh, on the way to the restaurant jadi kita akan ada preview di Medan ini jam 2 previewnya eh jam satu and then uh, di Saripan Pacific eh iya yeah, Saripan Pacific Ibu Mina ntar bakalan ketemu Ibu Mina sih udah lama belum ketemu Ibu Mina tapi ntar um, So, baliknya besok jam 8 malam. So, I'm gonna stay one night here. Fortunately, dan gue bakalan makan biun bebek katanya. Biun bebek enak atau enggak babi? Babi deh, uh, babi. Bukan babi. Yeah. Okay, great. I'm here actually to eat my first uh, noodle, and we wanted to go to get a bebek noodle, uh, apa bihun bebek, but it's actually closed on the street here, on the 15th katanya. Uh, but I went to have this other one called Hongseng. Actually, the, this me, it's at the end, but it's open, but uh, it's very packed here. So I'm, I'm coming in here to eat the noodle. They said the bihun here is very nice. Actually, we don't. I don't know if it's nice, but it's packed with people, so it should be very nice. Later, I will let you know how does it taste like in order for me to cook. But I will upload later and let you know how much it tastes like, right? So um, I'm going to taste it. I'm going to finish this later. I'm going to give you a review of how much it tastes like. And I'll stick by. Gila cetar, minya. I just finished eating the minya. It tastes so good. And so if you go to Medan, you go to this uh, restaurant called the Hong Se Hok Seng. And wah man, minyak cetar habis. And you should ask for yang campur. Soalnya yang campur itu isinya semuanya kayak piting, babi, semuanya semuanya ada di situ. Tapi saya tadi nggak minta babi hanya seafood aja sama piting. Very fantastic, very nice. So remember this place. It's very very good. But tonight we're gonna have the bihun bebek, yeah? Bye. Kuih tiaw ateng. This is one of the famous kuih tiaw here in Medan. So I'm gonna taste this. Their food and. As you know, yesterday I went to pasar, but I did not bring you with me to the pasar because taksinya sama pasar itu jauh dari dari Chinatown. So, jadi I I took shots. So later di dalam video ini ada video ada ada foto juga, nggak hanya video aja. Tapi yesterday I ate bihun bebek. It was one of the best bihun bebek in Medan. I took away. I had martabak piring also, but now we're going to see this one called the Kedai Ote. So later we are going to see mereka cara bikinnya kayak gimana. Jadi kita akan ada di depan. And I will show you how it's done. Okay, alright. So here, so here actually, if you take a look, this is how they make the quick down. This is one of the best kuih in Medan, so I'm gonna take this later on. This is how they make it. So, big walk that you can see, fantastically done. And they only have uh, four menus here. Uh, kuih tiaw, 
bihun, nasi goreng, and they have some other things, but actually I forgot. But they have about four menus. So. before I go to the airport and this is Asana it's, I went to check on the internet katanya it has some sort of western some uh, uh, traditional Medanese uh, culture and I think very unique and before I show you before I go inside kayaknya di dalam tuh ada acara jadi uh, and my proper uniform in the with sandals I don't know if I can get in but uh, ada dilarang-dilarang disini it says here so uh, maybe I'm gonna read it to what the uh, yeah, ada patung meriam juga Oh, yeah. And we take a look. Let's take a look at the building first here. Here's the building and of the Mario. It looks like more of a masjid. See? I think it's a masjid also. So it is the whole area. And um, later, if we can, we can take a photo here uh, together. Uh, the timing. Okay, so this timing for the Istana. Um, so if you go here, you should know the timing because they have traditional music inside. And actually, bukan ada event di dalam. Uh, actually, ini event. Memang mereka nggak ada traditional music or something like that untuk acara or maybe uh, I'm not sure if it's acara or not. Tapi kayaknya it's uh, ada acara something like that. So here it is. Oh, it's uh, Belanda juga kayaknya. It's Belanda. You can take a look from this side. Uh, so take a look from this side. So can we actually go in or not? So this is what the building looks like. So it's not itself has traditional music at the front and um, it is very very nice actually. Okay, great. I just uh, made the uh, made a little photo to me myself in this area, and I decided to pay actually here to take a photo, and the, the, actually the photo to come out itself on the on the day, which is an instant photo, cost ten thousand, and then the the, the shirt itself cost twenty five thousand, and I'm dressed like this. Fantastically done. Awesome, I can tell you. It's the best. And um, it's a bit hot because I'm wearing four layers here in my body. And the uh, layer itself is very, very hot. But it's worth it, I guess. Yeah? I'm wearing four layers in my body. And I have a little crease here. And this actually, actually, the real photo of this uh, Istana is supposed to be yellow. Okay, uh, this is the actual. There's the actual uh, uniform that uh, Sultan Delhi ever uh, used. This sultan uh, is rich actually, but back in the old days, richnya itu ya memang segitu aja. You take a look. Take a look at that side way. All right, so here it is. The actual Sultan deal. You can take a look. Uh, this is how far it the thing is. Mostly how 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 far further away.
Okay, why I love going to this kind of places is because actually you cannot really find this kind of traditional places anymore. And as you can see, kalau kita ke tempat ke apa gedung-gedung kayak gini itu nggak pernah diurus di antara satu nggak pernah diurus biayanya kurang. Jadi mereka juga dapat biayanya juga di entry masuknya. Ini entry masuknya lima ribu per orang. 5000 per orang. Jadi saya tadi saya bayar 5000. Uh, fotonya tadi 10000, murah 10000 terus kalian bisa foto pakai handphone sendiri, pakai baju pula. Pokoknya murah sekali ya. Tadi juga kasih 20000 ke banyak soalnya enggak enak mereka udah bantuin pasang-pasang bajunya secara gue gede banget kan. Uh, tapi intinya gitu sih. Saya pakai GoPro ini keliling Indonesia. I go around Indonesia and hopefully I can and go around Indonesia and actually go to places like this. I don't want to go to malls because there's a lot of malls anywhere in Jakarta, but there's none places like this because I think it's the culture, sense, uh, the Indonesian culture is there and I really want to show to everyone in my channel, uh, in YouTube, about the culture of Indonesia because I'm very proud of being Indonesian, alright? So I will see you later and um, I'm going to go back to the, uh, to the airport right now and uh, I'm going to check in. So later in the airport I will shoot again. Take care, yeah? All the best. Bye.